Welcome. This video gives a quick overview of Synapse's capabilities for designing pure chemicals. We will be using the Synapse Reader. If you do not have a copy of Synapse or Synapse Reader, please visit our website where you can download the Reader version. We will be using the MKS Chemical Design Examples document and the MKS Common Chemicals Knowledge Base. These documents are included with both the complete version and reader versions of Synapse. All of Synapse's documents are designed as electronic reference books. Analogous to a reference book, Synapse's documents are divided into chapters. For example, a knowledge base document has chapters on chemicals, mixtures, estimation techniques, structural groups, elements, and references. Synapse provides extensive capabilities for managing physical property data, generating physical property estimates for both pure components and mixtures, regressing data, generating graphs, and generating reports. Synapse also contains all the capabilities of Cranium, so please see our associated videos on Cranium for additional details. The goal of a chemical product design is to assemble molecular structures that have physical properties that satisfy a set of design constraints. Activate the Chemical Design Examples document and click on the Graphical Designs chapter. Scroll down to the Constraints section. We see that each constraint consists of a function, a goal value, a minimum value, and a maximum value. The functions used in a constraint can simply be the value of a single physical property, such as the boiling point or vapor pressure, as shown here, or they can be complex calculations that involve multiple physical properties, calculating quantities such as the heat or mass transfer coefficient. Change to the Functions chapter and navigate to the Boiling Point function. Click on the Navigation menu, select the Go To command, and select the Boiling Point function. Press OK. The boiling point function simply estimates the boiling point of a chemical candidate, converts this value from a standard unit of K to degrees C, and returns the converted value as a result of the function. Now navigate to the vapor pressure at 25 degrees function. Similar to our boiling point function, this function estimates the vapor pressure. It uses the CPROP function to calculate the liquid vapor pressure at 25 degrees C. The value is converted from standard units of Pascal to kilopascals and then returned as a result of the function. In this demonstration, we will design chemicals that have vapor pressure values similar to those of acetonitrile. Activate the MKS Common Chemicals Knowledge Base and navigate to the Chemicals chapter. Click on the Navigation menu, select the Go To command, and begin typing the name Acetonitrile in the Match Substring Edit box. Synapse displays the names of all the entities that match the substring. Select the Acetonitrile and press OK. Synapse will display the Chemicals page showing all of acetonitrile's physical properties. Scroll to the Constant Properties section. Change the units for the boiling point to degrees C. And make a note of the boiling point, 81.6. Now scroll to the Temperature Dependent section. Click on the property control, select the liquid vapor pressure, change the units of temperature to degrees C, and the vapor pressure units to kilopascals. Make a note of the value of the vapor pressure at 25 degrees C, 11.83 kilopascals. Now return back to the MKS Chemical Design Examples document. Change to the Graphical Designs chapter we will create a new graphical design. We do this by clicking on the large plus button. 
Synapse creates a new blank page within the Graphical Designs chapter. Click on the Identifier field at the top of the window and enter a name for our new design. Enter a reference and comments. Finally press the Save button. Scroll to the Source Knowledge Base section, click on the field, and select the MKS Common Chemicals Knowledge Base. This knowledge base will be the source of all elements, groups, and estimation techniques used in our design. We now need to specify the elements and bonds from which we will construct our chemical structures. Click on the Design Elements field. Synapse activates the Design Elements dialog. Double-click on the first row of the table. Synapse will list all the elements found in the associated source knowledge base. Select Carbon and press OK. Double-click on the second row of the table. Select Hydrogen. Press OK. And similarly, repeat the procedure to select Oxygen. Finally, press the Save button. These are the elements from which we will construct molecular structures. To specify the bonds for our design, click on the Bond Types field. Synapse activates the Bond Types dialog. Double-click on the first row and select Single Bond. And double-click on the second row and select Double Bond. Press the Save button. These elements and bonds are the pieces from which we will construct candidate chemical structures. We will enter two constraints, having the goals of matching the boiling point and vapor pressure of acetonitrile. Click on the Constraint Sections Fields table. Double-click on the first row of the table. Synapse activates the Constraint dialog. Our first constraint will try and match a chemical candidate's boiling point to the boiling point of acetonitrile. For the constraint function, press the List button and choose the boiling point function. For our goal value, enter the boiling point of acetonitrile, 81.6. We then enter a minimum and maximum limit indicating the range of acceptable values. For this demonstration, we specify a minimum limit of 71.6 and a maximum limit of 91.6. Enter a reference and comments and then press the OK button. Double click on the second row of the table. Press on the list button and select the vapor pressure at 25 degrees C function. For our goal value, enter 11.83 kilopascals. This is the vapor pressure of acetonitrile at 25 degrees C. Because vapor pressure varies greatly with temperature, we will specify a somewhat wider acceptable value range. Enter a minimum limit of 1.0 and a maximum limit of 50. Again, enter a reference and comments and press the OK button. You should not be too concerned about setting too tight or too loose limits for your constraints. Simply choose a set of limits and perform a design. You will very quickly see if the constraints have been set too tight or too loose. Finally, press the Save button to write our constraints to the current design document. We are now ready to begin our design. Click on the Commands menu and select the Design Candidates command. Synapse displays the Chemical Design dialog. The dialog has a large Structure Editor window in which we will draw molecular structures. A window displaying the physical property constraints in graphical form. Each constraint is shown on an axis formed from the constraint's minimum value, the constraint's maximum value, 
and the constraint's goal value, shown here numerically and indicated on the axis by a blue diamond. The control groups at the bottom of the dialog will list our design candidates. Begin by drawing the structure of normal pentane. Select the atoms control and insert five carbons. Select the bonds control and connect these carbons by single bonds. Then press the update button. Synapse will take the molecular structure drawn here, estimate its physical properties, use these physical properties to calculate each design function, and then use the value of each design function to evaluate each design constraint. The constraints window shows that the estimated value of pentane's vapor pressure, shown here by the green rectangle, does satisfy our vapor pressure constraint. However, the red arrow in the boiling point constraint indicates that our constraint's boiling point is too low. However, because our candidate does satisfy one of our design constraints, we will save it as an intermediate candidate. Intermediate candidates are chemical candidates that are of interest but might not satisfy all the design constraints. Press on the Add button. Synapse activates the Candidate Name dialog. You can type in any name you wish or simply press the default button. Add comments and press OK. To increase the boiling point of our candidate structure, we will add a short sidechain. Press the Atom button, add two more carbons, and bond these with single bonds. Press the Update button. Our new candidate, 3-ethylpentane, is estimated to have physical properties that satisfy our design constraints. In fact, the green rectangles, which indicate the calculated values for this candidate, are very close to the blue diamonds that indicate our goal values. Because both candidates are now satisfied, we can add this candidate as a final candidate. In the final candidate's control group, press the Add button. Synapse will activate the Candidate Name dialog. We'll accept the default value, enter date and phrase, and press OK. We then press the Save button to store these candidates to our current design document. Scroll the page down to our Intermediate Candidate section, and we will see the intermediate candidate we just designed. Click the left mouse button in the fields table, double click on the first row, and we will see the details of our intermediate candidate. Scroll further down to our Final Designs Candidate section, click on the Fields table, and click on the first candidate, and we will see details about our final design candidate. Synapse's graphical design approach is very powerful. It gives the designer the ability to investigate many possibilities. We typically recommend that when you begin a new design, you perform a graphical design first to become familiar with the molecular space and to ensure your constraints have been appropriately set. Synapse can also perform a chemical design automatically. Change to the Combinatorial Designs chapter. In a combinatorial chemical design, Synapse uses a set of design groups to generate all molecular structures that satisfy a set of design parameters. Synapse then estimates the properties of each of these candidate structures, uses these properties to calculate the results of functions, and uses those function results to evaluate a set of design constraints. Click on the Add button to create a new combinatorial design. Click on the Identifier field and enter a new name. Select a reference and add comments. 
click on the Source Knowledge Base field, and select the Common Chemicals Knowledge Base. For now, we will skip the Design Parameter section. Click on the Design Groups table. Synapse activates the Group Limits dialog. Double-click the left mouse button on the first row. Enter our first design group. Click the List button, and Synapse displays a dialog listing all the groups present in our source knowledge base. In the Match Substring edit box, type the characters dash CH3 and select the methyl group from the list of matching groups. Press OK. We now need to enter a minimum and maximum limit, telling Synapse how many times we would like the methyl group to appear in our candidate structures. For this demonstration, we will enter a value of 0 for the minimum limit and a value of 10 for our maximum limit. Add a reference, comments, and press the OK button. Double-click the second row and enter a constraint for a methylene group. Press the List button, type dash CH2 dash. Search for our methylene group, select the group, and press OK. We will again enter a minimum limit of 0 and a maximum limit of 10. Double-click on the third row and enter a constraint for a branched hydrocarbon. We'll enter a minimum limit of 0 and in this case a maximum limit of 4. Enter another branched hydrocarbon constraint. And finally, a constraint on a ketone group. We'll have a minimum limit of 0 and a maximum limit of 1. And press the Save button to store these design groups into the current document. Very often, the selection of the design groups and the selection of their minimum and maximum limits is part of our design investigation. We often will pick certain groups and certain limits, perform a design, and possibly modify these limits and design groups based on the design's results. Finally, we must also tell Synapse how many of these groups it can use to design molecular structures. For this demonstration, we will specify that molecular structures must contain a minimum of four groups and are limited to a maximum of 12 groups. We will also have Synapse design only acyclic structures, setting both the minimum and maximum number of rings to zero. For this design, we will use the same constraints as we did for our graphical design. Change to the graphical design chapter, scroll to the constraints section, and click the right mouse button on the constraints sections field. Select the copy data command, change back to the combinatorial design chapter, scroll to the constraints section, Click the right mouse button on the Constraints Sections table and select the Paste Data command from the Commands menu. We have now specified all of the information needed for Synapse to begin designing molecular structures. From the Commands menu, select the Design Candidates command. Synapse activates the Combinatorial Design dialog. Enter a comment and press the Start button. 
Synapse will begin assembling the design groups into all possible combinations. As Synapse creates a candidate structure, it will estimate that structure's physical properties, use those physical properties to calculate a result for each function, and use these function results to evaluate each design constraint. Those candidates whose physical properties satisfy the design constraints are shown here. Synapse shows these results graphically in two windows. The Sequential Constraint Statistics window shows the results of evaluating each design constraint on each candidate. These constraints are evaluated sequentially. The boiling point being the first constraint is evaluated for every single candidate. The display shows that most of the design candidates have boiling points that are too high and do not satisfy the constraint. We can use the scale control to adjust the display of the constraints results. The vapor pressure display shows that 100% of the candidates that were tested were found to be valid. Remember that because these constraints are evaluated sequentially, only those candidates that had valid boiling points were tested for valid vapor pressures. The constraint graphs window shows the relationship between the physical property constraints for each of the successful candidate chemicals. Each line represents a single candidate chemical. The constraints graphs window is very useful for identifying correlations between our design constraints. The design dialog will continue to run automatically, displaying the latest candidate that was successfully designed. If you wish to look through the candidates while a design is running, we simply uncheck the Auto Display box, click on the candidate's name, and press the Detail button. Once the design is finished, we simply press Save to store these results in the current design document. This concludes our demonstration of Synapse's capabilities for designing pure chemicals. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about Cranium or Synapse, or any questions about physical properties or chemical product design. Thank you very much.